Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on what part of the world you are in. I am Old Man 102. Welcome back to Richieville, Season 2, Episode 4. Um, let's head over to the mill. Alright, so, um, after I ended the last episode, I topped this off with logs. And I have some wood chips in here we're going to use as fuel um, instead of coal until we get our coal up and running. And then I ran time on a little bit, so we have some boulders. So I'll show you all how the rest of the mining works. But the first thing we need to do is, if you look at our fields, uh, we need to get a layer of... Oh, they're, they're fully fertilized. Okay, so we do not need to get a layer of fertilizer down. And five, our coffee is still not quite ready to be harvested. So we'll, get the, we'll finish getting the mill up and running. I'll show you all how the mining works, but our c combine is sitting back in field 44, not making us any money. So let's see if we can't take a contract your corn, your millet, uh, that one's a possibility. What is in this big field? Oh yeah, we are nowhere near ready to do root crops. Uh, what else we have? I'm not doing cotton yet. Your sugar beet. Looks like Yeah, sugar beet. Uh, yeah, I don't want to take this one quite yet. 14 is sorghum. We'll either take, oh, we may take the mustard. Where's 37? Oh, that's the one with the poles. All right, we're not going to take the mustard. That one has poles running through. We may take the millet in 15, which means we are heading, where are we heading? Oh, back near the home farm. That's, yeah, let's take field to field 15. Uh, we'll harvest the millet. So let's accept that contract. And we'll grab our combine. We'll get it moved back. Do I have... Oh, crap. Where's my... Corn header must still be at the home farm. Ah, so we're going to have to head back to the home farm. Oh, no, we don't need the corn header. We just need to get back to the home farm. I usually take both headers with me when I'm doing contracts. This way I can just go from one to the other. And then I, we bought the, I think we bought the stone crusher, but we're going to have to wait till we get some crushed stone. Right, let's head over this way. Come down to this end. We'll <clears throat> fire off a worker. Let's we'll see what other trouble we can get into. I don't know if our silage is ready yet, so I don't know if we can sell any of that off. Uh, so let's 
get this guy unfolded. don't want straw. I think millet now drops straw. I'll make sure that we disable the straw swath. So I don't want the hired worker dealing with the straw piles. Ow, stop. Let's try that again. Disable the straw swath. Well, I'm getting stuck turning around. All right, so let's hire a worker off. Now, what? Let me just refresh my memory because I'm playing two different maps. So we have. Oh, yeah, we have no other factories we can get running yet. We have our grass cuts. We can't cut grass again until tomorrow. So. We don't have too much to do today, so we may end up forwarding, finishing that contract and then forwarding time a little bit. All right, so let's head over here. I'll show you. Oh, this is the stone processing plant. We got to head over this way. So you've got a couple choices with your boulders. You can either <clears throat> turn on strong farmer, pick them up by hand and drop them in the pit. If you go into the vehicle shop under the Papa Smurf modding category, this one will, this flatbed, you can put a trailer hitch on and it will hold the boulders. Or if you go into the vehicle mod pack, the cat mining truck will also auto load the boulders. You've got three different choices with the boulders. We're going to use the auto load flatbed. And then we'll finish getting the mill up and running. So let's jump into our truck. Uh, we'll grab the flatbed. head over to the rock crusher we'll work our way back So there should be a setting for rocks. There we go. Just turn your auto load on. You should be able to, I think it holds like eight or nine of the boulders. And then as you pick them up, they'll continue to spawn as long as you have diesel in the tank. get them in the pit and then as long as you have diesel and water in there and we'll come back it'll take a few minutes but over here you'll see the crushed product showing up on the ground and all the mines work that same way so let's get all the mining started and then we'll take all sh we'll come back and look at the crushed product See, there you go. It's already starting to put the crushed product on the ground. Now, we don't own the copper mine or nickel mine yet.
And now we're also going to have to come up with what we're going to make some early game cash on. Because right now we have like no income coming in other than contracts. So let's grab. We'll get some coal crushing down. So we'll get these in there. And then we'll head over to the iron. Pick these up and we'll swing back. Now we'll get some iron crushing. Now we're going to need the ore for the mill. So we'll get this crushing down. Makes the ore's already starting to show up. Now this your your mines, where's our gizmo? Alright, so the mines, as long as you keep your diesel and water in the tank and you put your boulders in. You're going to get a bunch of crushed ore. You're going to get a little bit of trash you have to pick up with the trash truck. You got to get a little bit of sewage you have to pick up with the, the sewage truck. You're going to get a little bit of gold and a little bit of clean fill. And then your gold and your clean fill will show up under here. So you can bring your truck over here and grab it from there. But there's your crushed product. It's the same color as the ground texture, so it's a little bit hard to see until our piles get a little bit taller. Seeing our new boulders are already starting to spawn. So let that go for couple hours and we'll have some crushed product on the ground. So let's take a look at our mill. So we, the only thing we have in here right now are logs. So we need a fuel which is coal straw, wood chips, or nutshells. And then the nutshells come from the peanut factory. So your plywood is pretty much just logs. Any of your wood products are pretty much logs and coal. You'll get a little bit of firewood. You'll need for... Oh, crap. One of the factories. The smokehouse. So our steel is going to require ore. So we're going to have to wait for our ore and our coal. Uh... Or and that's just a fuel. So we're gonna have to wait for our ore to get steel production going. Same thing with drill pipe. And then barrels are just logs and coal. Kegs are just logs. A little bit of ore for the kegs. A little bit of ore for the crates. And then some ore for the tin cans. So I'm not gonna put water in here because I don't want to fire this up. I want these making everything at the same time. So I'm going to wait until we get some ore on the ground in order, before we can fire this, before I fire this up. So I'm not going to put any water in here quite yet. But what we can do is we can get some uh, the extra wood chips dumped in here as fuel. And that'll be our early, that's our early game fuel. Now, where do I want this guy? Do I want this guy 
parked over here or do I want this? No, we have two tractors at our home farm. We'll leave this guy parked over here. And then we'll just switch headers as we need either this, the Brooks all-in-one or the um, bunker cleaner to pick up our... Let's throw the bunker cleaner on there because we're going to want to pick up our crushed product. Not quite yet. I should have put that pipe in. But we'll get this guy ready to pick up our coal, our ore, and our rock, our stone. Alright, so unfortunately we do not have much to do. This guy's rolling on that contract. Nothing to do with our fields. We really don't own... We don't own any animals. We can't get beehives up and running until we get plywood. Once we get plywood, we can get beehives up and running, and we can get... Oh, sorry about that. A couple of really nasty sneezes, and I feel another one coming on. So once we get our beehives up and running, we can come up to the top, and we can get the apiary up and running, and get some honey and wax going. Now, what we could do is we definitely want the refinery. So how we have... Like 300,000. How much is the refinery? 102,000. We're making silage. I don't know if we put any wheat in storage, though. I mean, barley. Uh, I'm showing some barley in storage. I'm not sure where it is. Let's buy the refinery. Let's head back there. Now, we can make diesel. We can't make plastic yet. But let's take a look at this. So we need either coal, wood chips, or straw, which, again, I don't think I have any. Uh, we need a grain, which we're growing barley. And we need silage, which we should be making silage. And then if you add crude oil, you're going to get crates. Now, we don't have an oil refinery yet. But we can get some diesel started. Coal, wood chips, or straw. Did, we, did I throw any? We can cut. We can get more wood chips real easily. Did I throw any straw in storage? Um, not enough to make a difference. I've got straw somewhere in one of the silos. Let's head back to the main farm real quick. And we'll see what we can grab for... I know we should have a little bit of silage. I'm going to see what I have here in the home silo. So I'm playing two different maps, and I can't keep them straight. So we have a little bit of wheat. We have a little bit of barley to get started. Did I put any straw in here? We have a little bit of straw for fuel. And we have a... Let's grab... We're going to need to make two trips back there anyway. Let's save the straw. We can cut some wood chips. Let's grab the other truck because we can take two products back. So let's throw him back in here a minute. Let's head over to here. Oh, uh, yeah, let's enter this guy for a minute. I want to grab this truck and this tipper because it has two compartments. We can run some that little bit of wheat back. And we can run a little bit of silage back. Oh, I missed the uh, I missed the hookup on it. Uh, let's get the cover open. Let's 
head back to the farm. Now, when I come in next episode, I will sleep through the night, so I'll have a fresh game day to start with. And we'll have definitely have a lot more to do. The reason when we roll over to the new game day, I'll cut all the grass before I go live and we'll have another couple million liters of grass to turn into silage. We'll have field work to do and we'll have our mines to take care of. I'll probably keep coffee in that one field for a while because we're going to need, and I'll keep it in storage because we're going to need coffee to feed our workers. Uh, when we have some factories that require workers, we'll have some coffee in storage. So let's grab a little bit of, I mean, again, it's not much, but it'll get us started. Let's grab the barley. And then we'll head back to, I call it the horse farm. We'll head back to the horse farm. We'll grab a little bit of silage. And what we probably could do too is get the clay mine up and running and the silt mine up and running and just sell every bit of that off for cash. That's another good source of early game cash. We'll see how much money we get from that mustard harvest. I think I turn traffic off. Right, let's, let's see what's in here. All right, uh, so what do we have in a way of, yeah, we got plenty of silage. Uh, let's just run a full load back. And then on the way back, uh, we'll probably sell the rest of the silage off. Just so we have a little bit more cash. How's our mustard field doing? Well, where are we at? 15, right by the home farm. He's about halfway through. Then we'll cut a few trees. We'll get some more wood chips. Yeah, I'm just going to run a, a full million liters of silage back and not have to worry about it. And if it doesn't take it all, we'll just sell it off. And I want to get one field dedicated to clover so we can get, we'll get more grass off of clover than by me just mowing every day. Uh, let's head back to the refinery. Uh, we can take this bridge.
Now another early game factory to get, to get up and running is the boathouse. You could just, once your Mammoth Mill's making resin, I believe it's resin, unless I changed it to glue. Never mind. I was going to say the boathouse is usually an early, another early game factory to get up and running, but I think I changed it from resin to glue, so you've got to make glue first. So never mind on that thought. So we'll try and get a good mix of farming and factory work done. So we have, the bat there's a bunch of factories back here. There's about five or six different factories back here. So we have the refinery, we have the drywall factory, the battery plant, the textile mill, and I believe the evaporator. All right, so we come over to here, we'll drop off our barley. Not much. We'll switch to the back, we'll drop off our silage. We will have a ton of barley tomorrow. Well, tomorrow game day. All right, cool, it'll take the full million liters. All right, let's, all right, this, she's completely empty. So now we just need some fuel. So let's go cut a load of wood chips to get it started. Or we could see how much coal's on the ground. One of the two. Let's get this guy back. other bridge. So let's cut through here. Yeah, multiplayer. This is there's like five or six different farms on the map where you can set up your own farm. So this map is definitely multiplayer friendly. The poultry house would be nice to get up and running early as well. There's just so much to do. So much to do and not enough time. Uh, you know, since we're here, we have the truck. We're just going to sell off the rest of that silage because I'll be making more tomorrow. Now we'll see what else we can buy. We may buy an oil well so we can get plastic started. Once we get the mill running, oh yeah, let's grab all of the silage. I'm not saving any of it. It's not doing us any good sitting here in storage. Not early game. How is our helper doing? It's getting there. Helper B is getting there. Who's got the best price for silage? Uh, it's not going to be the greatest, but we don't have to go far. Just over to Lucy's.
may have to turn up the up unload speed on this factory a little bit so it unloads quicker. All right, while we're waiting for you to fill, where's our contract going to? Johnny's, okay, so it's going right by the f home farm. then we'll sell this off we'll go back to the take this back to the yard and we'll see how much coal's on the ground Yeah, next update, I'm definitely going to up, up the uh, unload speed on the silo a little bit. Hope everyone is doing well today. It is a Monday morning as I record this. Um, um, if you see what you like, please smash that like and subscribe. It is totally free. doesn't cost you anything and it will definitely help the channel grow. Oh, we're getting there. All right, let's get this sold off. So it's actually just going right over here to Lucy's. Lucy's is the best price for silage. So not very far. Uh, let's get the first million in. And then we're going to get the um, composter up and running soon as well, so, so we can get the orchards and greenhouses fired up. All right, 380,000. Let's change to, come on, the other compartment. There we go. So silage is a really good early game cash. Now, if you don't mind cutting the grass. We don't have any animals that need it yet, so I'm just going to keep selling it. Let's head. Yeah, I must have traffic turned off. Let's head back here. We need some kind of fuel in the refinery so we can make us a diesel. Yeah, okay, I've got a game plan. I've got a game plan for the rest of this episode. So let's park this guy over here. Actually, no, let's throw him so we'll use the same truck to empty our combine with the mustard. So we'll just park him over here for now. Just 
our helper should be done with the muster contract. Matter of fact, let's jump in there because it looks like he may be on his last row. Uh, not quite. Let him finish that up. All right, let's grab this guy. So let's get it the let's get it unfolded. I'll get the pipe out. Now these piles you're going to want to pick up relatively slowly. If you pick them up too fast, um, it sucks the material off the ground quicker than the triggers realize it's gone. So what you want to do is you want to just drive through it relatively slowly and let the machine just do the work. I mean, this hasn't been running long, but it's going to get us enough to fire up the refinery. Just drive through it relatively slowly, you'll be fine. And it's already starting to respawn on the ground. Uh, so turn that off, see, and just like that we have 70,000 liters of coal. And that crusher has only been running for about 30 minutes. So let's run this back to the refinery real quick. And we'll come back, sell off our mustard, finish that contract. And we'll suck up a little bit of ore to get Mammoth Mill fired up. And then I'll, it should be about time to call the episode when we do that. And then, before I come in for the next episode, I will roll the night, so we'll get us through the night. I'll come in, I'll cut another 3 million liters of grass, dump it in the grass dryer, and then I'll go live, because we'll have a bunch to do tomorrow game day. Oh, y'all have to excuse me, my sinuses are killing me. I'm going to try and get some, run out today and get some Zyrtec. Non-sponsored advertisement. <laughs> Watch, um... Uh, YouTube will zing me for using <laughs> a registered name. <laughs> That'd be funny. <laughs> In the next episode, we'll figure out what we're going to spend some of our million dollars on. <coughs> oh my goodness, excuse me. They are really, my sinuses are like really, really bad. Today have been bad all weekend, but they are really bad today. All right, let's get the coal in here. Like I said, this is not going to make us any plastic until we get some crude oil, but it'll get us some diesel going. So that should fire part of this factory up. All right, here it running. So yeah, our diesel production is active. Our um, this one we need oil for to turn this line on. And plastic we need the uh, crude oil and the crates 
to make our plastic. So we are making 10,000 liters an hour, so we're going to get, I mean, not much, we don't have much grain in here, so we're going to get a little bit going anyway. So let's take care of that mustard contract. We'll suck up what little ore we have. We'll get the mill up and running. So, not a super exciting episode, but we got a lot of production started today. And we're still on the first game day of the map. So, pretty good progress for our very first game day. And t next episode will be game day two. So I'm just going to drive straight and then hang a left. So back here we have the boathouse and seaweed production. Seaweed is a, like fertilizer, so you can make seaweed, throw it in your fertilizer spreader, and it's an, an organic fertilizer you can use on the map. We haven't been caught up by one of the trains yet today. It may take, I know, I know this is going to be mostly a production series, but we may take a little bit of our cash and get a chicken coop and then maybe sheep going. Let's get this guy parked over by the ore. Uh, which one's the ore? I think this one's the ore. Yeah, this one's the ore. So we'll get this guy parked here. Let's take care of our mustard contract first. And then we'll figure out what contract, well, next episode we'll figure out what contract we want to take next. We'll keep the combine busy. Right, so let's get the header dropped. We'll get the pipe out. I hope he didn't miss anything on this field. I just want to check the field, make sure he didn't miss anything. He didn't, it looks clean. Oh, this is millet. That's right, we didn't take the mustard contract. Oh, well, I was thinking this was mustard for some reason. Let's get this in our tipper. And now we'll fold this guy up, we'll leave him sit here till tomorrow. Because tomorrow morning, relatively early, our wheat field should be ready. When I sleep tonight. So a good bit of millet off that field. I mean, it's not ours, it's only a contract, but we got a good bit of millet off of there. I will not be making my own animal feeds. I'll probably be buying all my animal feeds. So I want to keep all of our other crops for production. Uh, let's get the pipe in. And I'm just going to leave him parked here. We own this land, so it's not good. Yeah, we'll just, instead of leaving him on the grass, let's throw him on the dirt. I ain't going to hurt anything leave him here. Let's t 
take this down, fulfill the contract. Yeah, before we get a lot of the other production going, we have to finish the basics like Mammoth Mill, Drywall Factory, Cement Factory, um, Diesel Factory for the plastic. And that'll get us most of the basics, but not all the basics. And we're going to have to put the construction pack down so we can get um, <clears throat> like bricks and pavers and uh, electrical wire, copper wire, and that kind of stuff going as well. Alright, so this is, this will fulfill our contract. See how much extra cash we get from the extra millet. Oh, 86,000, that is nice. So 86,000 for that, and let's cash this in. So another 27,000. So another hundred grand, which I think pays for the refinery that we bought. Yeah, I seriously think tomorrow we're going to get the clay mine going, we'll get the silt mine going, and we may even, if we have enough cash, we'll get the sand mine going. <clears throat> we're not going to save any of that product at first. We're going to sell every bit of it off for cash. So this way I don't have to cut, spend an hour cutting the grass every day for silage. Uh, let's fire up this mill and then I'm way over on time. I need to get out of here. Or this is going to end up being an hour episode instead of a half a 45 minute episode so let's throw this guy I not we are going to need a tank of water so let's just grab that real quick well yeah let's let's grab the ore and we'll grab a quick tank of water let me drop this guy hook up to our tanker Did I get it? Yeah, I got it. Let's get him filling. I'll grab the ore. We'll, as soon as I get this mill running, I'm going to get out of here because I'm way over on time. But we'll have the mill up and fired up and running. So my water trigger should be over here. So you start filling. While you're filling, let's grab our ore. Yeah, just remember to drive slow. Let the machine do the work. And you will not have any problems with the triggers not resetting. So don't use any other modded milling machine except for the one in the vehicle pack because the speed was spe specifically set just to pick up this mining product. So let's look at us a little. This is definitely enough to fire the mill up. <clears throat> now, where's my trigger? This side or the back side? Front side. Drop this off. 
we'll grab that water. We'll make sure this fire's up. Uh, let's park this guy over here. Well, <clears throat> we're going to have to get the stone mine up and running as well. I'll do that off camera. So I'll just pick up the stone like I did the ore and the coal, and I'll drop that in the stone crusher. I'll have that fired up as well. Alright, throw the water in the mill. Slow down, I'll pass the trigger off. Alright, let's get this guy parked up. We'll check the trigger to make sure that this guy fires up. Oh, I see smoke. I think it went, f I think it fired itself up. Smoke is a good sign. Not all the time, but sometimes smoke is a good sign. Uh, yep, let's check the... Yep, so everything is active, so that fired up this factory. So we're going to be making a lot of our basic production. And then we're going to also have to get... Um, we're going to need the Anderson Company. So that's going to be another early game factory. We're going to need certain heat. I'm going to probably put the placeable orchards and greenhouses down so I don't have to use the one built into the map. We're going to also need the glass company early game, the glue company, which we'll use the one built into the map. I'll put the placeable orchards and greenhouses down, but they're not going to be a priority. We will also need... What else am I going to need? We're going to need Benjamin Moore early game. We're going to need Pennington early game. We're going to need quality first early game. Now we're going to need Sparky's early game. So there's a ton of factories we're going to need early game, but I'm going to leave it here. I am well over on time. This is going to end up being close to an hour episode. I hope everyone has an awesome day. Um, please smash that like and subscribe on your way out. It'll really help the channel 